Hey, JJ, what are you doing with the aluminum foil? Are you going to do some baking? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bake. Um, no, I'm making a capacitor. Um, just like a parallel plate capacitor in our textbooks, you can make a parallel plate capacitor using pieces of tinfoil. These are the plates, basically. That's not a capacitor. That's a capacitor. How can you do it out of that? How does that work? Uh, so the the capacitor that you have in your hand is actually just like this, except it's a super narrow strip that's been cut and rolled up into a tube. Oh, okay. So, so if we rolled this into a tube, it'd look like this. Got it. Yeah. And so the, the trick is, is you've got two conducting plates that are separated by some sort of a dielectric. And in this case, in our capacitor, the dielectric is just a sheet of paper. Okay. And then the orange and blue thing there. This is a capacitance meter. So our capacitor um, has some capacitance. It's really small, so we need a, a meter that can measure it really small, which is what we have here. And so when we touch these probes onto these tabs that we have sticking out here, we can measure the capacitance of our capacitor. Uh, and so I think in this experiment, what we're gonna do is we're going to test the effect of a couple things on how much capacitance we can have here. Okay. Uh, one of them is the area, right? So this aluminum so these, sheet has some area. So these are about the same. And so I'm just gonna measure the length and width of one of them and get the area from that. So that's like uh, 23.5 and 19.5. So I'll enter that in centimeters. And so you can, oh, the area just calculated it for me. There. Oh. I was all ready <laughs> with my calculator. So um, before we can measure the capacitance of our capacitor, we gotta make sure there's a dielectric in between, that's the piece of paper, uh, and that they're lined up isn't there some air in between too? Yeah, so th there is air. And actually we'll see in the second part of this experiment how changing the distance between them changes the capacitance. So to help us get rid of the air and make sure that the thickness is just one paper thickness uh, between the plates of our capacitor, we're just gonna take a textbook and put it on there and it's gonna you know smash things nice and flat. Well, that's not just any textbook, JJ. That's the <laughs> Pasco Essential Physics textbook. It's That's right. You can get it online too. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put the textbook on there and it's gonna press those plates together and we're gonna have a thickness of one sheet of paper between them uh, and our tabs are still sticking out here. So we can take the capacitance meter and then just connect them to those tabs uh, and we can measure the capacitance of our capacitor. And it looks like it's about 2.96 nanofarads. Okay. So to change the area, we could cut it and stuff, but is there a simpler, faster way there? Yeah, in fact, the fastest way is just fold it in half. So we'll okay. cut the area in half. So I'll tell you what, I'll fold one, the top plate, and you fold the bottom plate, and we'll just go okay. lengthwise. Or this way, yeah, like that. Just get it. Does it matter if we have the shiny side out or not? No, it shouldn't. Good, because we're different. And so I'll just put the length now is half of what it was. So that'd be 11.25. Yeah, so. And the width is the same. So there's yes. our bottom plate. So the areas. And so. Oh, oh that's not right. It's 1.11.75. 1. There we go. There you go. And so uh, we've taken the same original area and we folded it in half. And this is our new area because the, the aluminum foil is conducting, right? So when we smash it flat again, the top sheet touches the bottom sheet. So the whole thing is now effectively one plate, but right. half the area. So we'll do our one paper thick. Make sure the tab sticks out on the end. 
And then we'll take this one and we'll put it on there. And we don't want these tabs touching each other. So I'll put them close, but not touching. So I would guess with less area, it'll be less capacitance. Yeah, so let's take a look. So I'm gonna smush it flat again so we get that one paper thick. Okay, let's bring the meter over and let's test those contacts. And now our capacitance is 1.59 nanofarads. Okay, it's definitely less. All right. So now we can fold the. I'll take the top one, I'll take the bottom one. We'll the other long side. Yeah, we'll do the half again. The length stays the same, and then it's nine point. Oh, I had the bottom. That's right. So we'll put that there. We'll put this on top. Make sure the tabs aren't touching again. They're also over each other, and then book on top again so we get one paper thick between them so probably we'll go down again we'll bring this over here so we can see it yep i'm seeing 1.12 nanofarads and so nano is a billion so this is not a lot of capacitance that's why we have this special meter to measure it accurately yeah we're gonna go are we going again uh, two more times. Two more times. So the tabs are a little fat here to make this work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear a little, them a little. Yeah, tear we a little fold bit. Them as well. Yeah. Tear a little bit off here. Or yeah, I guess we could just fold them, huh? So I'm going to tear it and fold it so our tabs are a little bit thinner. You want to do that one? And then we'll fold them in half again. Looks like we went the same way. Yep. So now that is at the bottom. So 5.88. All right, and the area is going down by a half each time, right? So far. Yep. Yep. All right. So now let's see what we're looking at here. 0.61 nanofarads. Okay, one more. One more. At some point it'll be too hard to fold. Yeah. Okay, you take that one, I'll take this one. The plates are now tiny. Uh, I had the bottom, you had the top. So there's the bottom, there's the top. Make sure the tabs aren't touching. Right, and we'll smush it with a book to get that one paper thin. I'll just give it a press to make sure that all the folds get flattened out nice. <clears throat> Okay, and this capacitance value is 0 0.43. Okay, so we have five data points. And so you can take this and do the analysis for the effect of area on capacitance. And so the other thing we we're interested in was the distance between the two. So right. how are we gonna change that? So let's get some new plates, some new capacitor plates. I guess we could have reused those and tried to carefully unfold them, but sometimes it's just easier just to start with some fresh ones. So there's a bottom plate. And then here's a top plate, right? And we're going to create, make another capacitor, but now what we're gonna do is we're going to change the distance in between the plates by adding more sheets of paper okay, in between. that'll be easier. So do we start with one sheet of paper? Yeah. 
Okay. So again, I'm going to try to make sure these are lined up. Be interesting to see how close it is to our first measurement. They're similar in size ah, to right. the first one. Right. So this first one was 2.96 with one sheet. So let's see how close sure. we come to that. So we'll put the book back on there. This one is, ooh, 3.26. That's still not too different. Not too different. So our plates might, might not be the exact same area. So let me put that over there. So let me add another sheet of paper. I should bring the paper over here. So I'm just going to double the distance in between the plates now by adding another okay. sheet of paper. Okay, so now our new capacitance value, ooh, 2.40 went down. So the further apart, seems like that makes the capacitance go down. What kind of relationship is that called? That's an inverse relationship, inverse. right? That's so what it's looking like with two yeah. points, you can't really say much though. So let's triple the distance from our original data point. I'm going to try to slide this sheet of paper in between the two that are already there. Make sure I line the plates up properly. Let me just double check. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now put the book on top. We've got three sheets of paper spacing between the capacitor plates. Three sheets of spacing. 1.96 nanofarads. So a definite trend going down. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's three sheets of paper. So instead of paper, what would a real capacitor use? So okay. capacitors use any kind of dielectric in between the plates. And so uh, some capacitors use air, right? Because air acts as a pretty good dielectric, but um, some capacitors like the one you have there have a special kind of dielectric uh, material with a uh, non-conducting like yeah. glue that holds them it has together. has to be non-conducting. All right, so there's, what do we have, four sheets? Yes. So four sheets of paper, okay, and the capacitance is 1.65. Now, is this our last data point? Yep. Okay, so five sheets of paper. So the spacing between our plates now is five times what our very first data point was. Let me put this book on there. All right, and just make sure uh, the book is down, gets rid of all the air in between us, so we have consistent changes in distance. And the, that capacitance is 1.46. So definite downward trend. And so we will uh, leave the rest of the analysis up to you. So you have access to this data file. You can watch the video again if you need to. And you also have the student handout uh, for this lab uh, to learn more about uh, capacitance.